May 14th, 1946. Harringay Stadium, London, England. This is Gene Ward speaking. You have a ringside seat for the scheduled 15 round light heavyweight match between Freddie Mills, the British challenger, and champion Gus Lesnovich of the United States. Now coming up the aisle. Jack Solomon's British promoter escorts Lesnovich to the ring. Old Glory is brought onto the ring apron before Lesnovich climbs through the ropes. Mills, already in the ring, greets the champion. Introducing world's champion Gus Lesnovich from Cliffside Park, New Jersey, USA. And his worthy challenger from Parkstone, Dorset, England, Freddie Mills. The gloves have been inspected by the British Boxing Board of Control. Incidentally, Lesnovich was warned that this fight will be governed by strict British rules, meaning that a boxer could be disqualified because of a low blow. In the US, a foul usually means the loss of a round, but not the entire fight. Here's the very popular British referee, Eugene Henderson. He's the sole arbitrator. No judges are used in England. The referee scores the fight and calls the winner. In a moment, round one of the first international boxing match of the post-war era in England. Lesnovich on the left is a six to four favorite to retain his crown. He wastes little time before carrying the fight to Mills. Mills, with his back to us, is the lighter man. But the weight difference is only one and a quarter pounds. Lestovich scales 175 to Mills 173 and three quarters. Lesnovich, who has been the aggressor here in round one, is considered the better fighter offensively and defensively. Lesnovich about to land a hard right. That punch hurt Mills, and the Britisher tries to hold. Another looping right shakes up Mills, and Lesnovich is showing accurate firepower early in the fight. In the final seconds of round one, Lesnovich's punching has sent him away in front. Lesnovich had 66 fights, winning 51, losing 10 with five draws. He knocked out 15 men. Mills fought 80 times, winning 63, losing 11 with six draws. He carries an impressive knockout record, having KO'd 44, a better than 500% KO average. Mills is the man with a stripe on his trunks. Now you're about to see convincing proof of Lesnovich's punching power. That's Gus on the left. Notice how Gus maneuvers his man toward the ropes. And two blistering lefts to the head put Mills down for the first of a total of four knockdowns in round two. Mills takes a six count, and now Lesnovich tears in, trying for the kill. Lesnovich has suddenly turned Tiger as he rips into Mills with both hands. And Mills goes down for the second time in the round. He's hurt as he listens to referee Henderson's count. Seven, eight, and up at the count of nine. Lesnovich, realizing he can end it right now, tears in again. And Mills goes to his knees for the third knockdown. He's trying to weather the storm by almost taking the count limit. He's up at eight, and Lesovich goes back to the attack, firing both hands to the head. It's amazing how Mills can absorb such punishment and come back for more. He's been down three times so far, but his great condition has enabled him to save himself. Lesnovich forces Mills to touch his gloves to the canvas. 
Referee Henderson begins the count as the Britisher plays it smart and rests on one knee in an effort to last the round. Mills is up at nine. He's been down four times, yet he's been able to keep his head resting when he needed it most. Round two is almost over, but many a year will pass before the fans forget Mills' courage and stamina. At the bell, Mills starts for the wrong corner. Mills made a tremendous comeback in rounds three, four, and five. And Lesovich's left eye is now swollen and nearly closed. We're about to see a better round for Freddie Mills, the British Empire light heavyweight champion. Mills, with the stripe on his trunks, is a wide swinger. His punches come from the outside, whereas Lesovich's blows are shorter and straighter. More than 12,000 British fight fans paid a new record of over $200,000 to see this title match. Promoter Jack Solomons charged 20 guineas for ringside seats, the guinea being worth about $4.20 in American currency, and the price scale ranged from four and a quarter to about $85. Lesnovich, on the left, spent 44 months in the United States Coast Guard. Like many other great American boxers, Gus came out of the Golden Gloves. Mills was recently separated from the Royal Air Force after four years in service. His manager is the well-known Ted Broadrib. Lesnovich is managed by Joe Bella. Mills making a fine comeback here in round six after being floored four times in round two. Next, you'll see an example of Mills hooking right. Lesovich is handicapped because of his swollen left eye, but the American champion is a dangerous puncher. Later, near the close of the round, you'll see Lesovich come back with a solid right to the jaw. In the meantime, Mills is forcing the fight. He's unmarked whereas Lesnovich shows the effects of Mills' punches. Before meeting Mills, Lesnovich suffered a technical knockout in his fight with Leoma. The bout was stopped in the fourth round when Gus received a cut eye. Now Lesovich has Mills near the ropes, and you'll see Gus land some solid shots. A hard right to the jaw, and Mills grabs the ropes for support. The sharpshooting Lesovich has been biding his time, waiting for the right openings. Mills deserves plenty of credit for the way he's come back. For a while, it appeared as though this fight would end in the second round. But Mills has a tremendous store of energy and fast recuperative powers. Round six is nearly over. But don't miss the action-packed final chapter coming up. Mills became progressively more aggressive in round seven, eight, and in round nine, he had Gus's nose bleeding heavily. Now, in what is to be the final round, let's watch the pattern of Mills' surprising downfall. Lesnovich is cutting loose again. Mills is back to the ropes, and he's in trouble. 
Thus measures him and unleashes a two-fisted barrage that takes the steam out of the British challenger. Mills is down, holding the ropes. Mills takes a nine count, and now he's a helpless target for Lesnovich's vicious attack. Thus has his man cornered, and is determined to put him away this time. Mills is down for the sixth time. He's just about finished, but he'll gamely try to pull himself up. right and it's all over. Mills is half out of the ring and completely helpless. Referee Henderson stops it. Lesovich's hand is raised in victory. The official time of the knockout was two minutes and 56 seconds of the tenth round. Mills fought a dead game battle. He willingly mixed with a champion and even dished out some punishment himself. But Gus Lesovich had patience and punch, and so knocked out Freddie Mills to retain his world's light heavyweight crown in London, England, May 14th, 1946.